Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Tombstone Tourist. Today, I'm at the Raleigh Memorial Park in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is a rather large cemetery consisting of about 70 acres with a very impressive mausoleum. Jazz musician Lonnie Wilfong is buried here along with the man that I'm here to visit. I'm here in section four, just down the hill from the large mausoleum that we see in the distance. It's here that I find the final resting place of popular ESPN personality, Stuart Scott. Stuart Scott was born in Chicago, Illinois on July the 19th, 1965. When he was seven years old, his family moved to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In Winston-Salem, he attended Mount Tabor High School during his freshman and sophomore years, then moved to R.J. Reynolds High School, where he graduated in 1983. In high school, Stewart was the captain of the football team and served as the vice president of the student council. Upon graduating from high school, Stewart attended the University of North Carolina, and while at North Carolina, he got his first job in the broadcasting field at radio station WXYC. He graduated from North Carolina in 1987 with a degree in speech communications. Shortly after graduation, Stewart left North Carolina and moved to Florence, South Carolina, where he took a job as a news and sports reporter for WPDE-TV. During his two years in Florence, Stewart came up with one of his many popular catchphrases, as cool as the other side of the pillow. In 1988, Stewart left Florence and moved back to the Triad, taking the job at WRAL-TV here in Raleigh, where he began working as a news and sports reporter. His colleagues at WRAL said that while he enjoyed hard news, he was a natural when it comes to sports. It was his love for sports that led Stewart to lead WRAL and move to WESH in Orlando, Florida in 1990, where he became the sports anchor. Station management said, we knew from the minute that he walked in the door that we were only going to be a pit stop. Bigger and better things lay ahead. Those bigger and better things came in 1993 when Stewart was hired by ESPN to do cut-ins on ESPN 2's Sports Night. When Keith Oberman left Sports Night, Stewart took over as the show's anchor. He was so popular and successful on ESPN2 that the network soon moved him to their flagship network, ESPN. Stewart was one of the most popular personalities across the network's three platforms. In 2002, he was named the studio host for the NBA on ESPN. Then in 2008, in addition to his NBA duties on ESPN, he began hosting the NBA on ABC, which included the NBA Finals. In addition to being one of ESPN's most popular personalities, Stewart was one of the network's busiest. In addition to his NBA duties, Stewart also hosted ESPN's Monday Night Countdown when Monday Night Football moved to the network in 2006. Over his more than 20 years at ESPN, Stuart Scott hosted some of the network's most popular shows, including Monday Night Countdown, NFL Primetime, Major League Baseball's pre- and post-game shows, and the NBA Finals. Stuart's enthusiasm for sports in general was always evident, and he was always coming up with new catchphrases, like, he must be the bus driver, cause he's sure taking him to school, or... Just call him Butter, cause he's on a roll. And of course, there's my all-time favorite, simply Booyah. 
In 2007, Stewart was on his way to Pittsburgh for Monday Night Football. On the way, he complained of a stomach ache that got progressively worse. He eventually was admitted to the hospital and had his appendix removed. After doctors tested his appendix, it was discovered that Stuart Scott had cancer. He ended up having more surgery and underwent chemo treatments. Initially, he was cancer-free, but it returned in 2011, and after more treatments, the disease went into remission for a second time, only to return again in early January of 2013. This time, the cancer would require longer and more aggressive treatments, comprised of both chemo and radiation. Stewart was always the optimist and once said, the coolest thing about cancer is the bond that you develop with the others who are fighting with you. On July 16, 2014, Stewart received the Jimmy V Award, named in honor of former North Carolina State coach Jim Balvano, who was also an ESPN personality. This was Stewart's final public appearance. Stuart Scott was just 49 years old when he passed away on January the 4th, 2015. A month later, Stuart was inducted into the R.J. Reynolds High School Sports Hall of Fame. The ceremony took place during the halftime of the Reynolds Mount Tabor basketball game. These were the two high schools that Stuart attended as a teen when he lived in Winston-Salem. On a personal note, all I can say is, Booyah, Stuart Scott, you were one of the best. Rest well. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. If you have a special memory of Stuart Scott or any of the people that we visit in these videos, I hope you'll share your memories with us in the comments. I upload a new video every Sunday morning, so if you enjoy this type of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure to ring that bell so you'll get notified when a new video is posted. Finally, if you're so inclined, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Now, until next week, please remember, Life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.